Well, somebody might say, wait a minute, what about the horse series? I've seen these pictures in textbooks all the time. And it shows how the little horse called Eohippus evolves into the modern present day horse over millions of years. There's a scientific technical term for what you're looking at. You know what it's called? Artwork. It's sometimes the artwork that convinces people that evolution is true and not the actual evidence. For instance, in this picture, you see a lot of spots on that first horse, then fewer spots, all of a sudden, no spots. What do you know about spots from a fossil record? All you have is a pile of bones, right? And there's a lot of things wrong with the horse theory series here. How do you go from a browsing tooth on your left to a grazing tooth, leaving no transitions whatsoever in the rock layers? The number of pairs of ribs go back and forth with no pattern. There's a problem with the foot structure, and here's a real problem for evolution. You should expect to find the bones of present-day horse only on the very top layers and all of his ancestors below. But in the John Day country, also in South America, they have found now the bones of present-day horse in rock layers below his supposed ancestors. Folks, you can't be your own grandmother. Now, that little tiny horse that was on the left called Eohippus, its correct scientific name is Hyracotherium, and it's related to the Hyraxes today. Can you imagine putting a saddle on that creature? One of the other museums, instead of thinking that this guy evolved into a horse, actually think it evolved into an elephant. Close, huh?